then we swapped to so that was a petrol engine the radial 7 uh, and then later on they swapped to two cadillac um, uh, v8 engines uh, for to increase the basically because um, the production runs of the radial engines were going to more aircraft and they said you know what nobody's buying cars let's just like the like with the sentinel let's just go down to the local cadillac dealer and say give us a production run of your uh, best performing engine and we'll take two of those and we'll shove that in the, uh, in the back of the stewards and go from there it's it was only in the um the M5, wasn't it, that they finally got to the um, the twin Cadillac engine? Uh, I'll get to my various variants when okay. I get over the page. But, but, but it was interesting that, you know, we all laugh at Australia for putting three Cadillac engines in our tank and, uh, oh, aren't they desperate um, primitives? Um, but in this case... Did we they... inspire them? Do you think is that, do you think that what it was? I'm not, not willing to make that claim. <laughs> uh, but it is interesting that in this case, what they got was a tank that was um, incredibly easy to drive, uh, particularly with the hydro-pneumatic um, yeah. transmission. Uh, Three slightening. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it, it, it reduced crew training time significantly, which is a which real... Which means um, you didn't have to... When you don't, don't have to double clutch your, uh, your gear changes every time you mm. want to change gears up or down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you just basically put it in and then the engine will change gears and when you get to the right speed, it makes life a lot easier for a tank driver. 